If you're paying attention to the religious um, news, what you would have heard is that the Pope and the, the Vatican and the Catholic Church have announced that they're going to change their catechism, their religious doctrine, so they no longer agree with the death penalty. And one of the reasons why is they're saying that the church, according to what they believe, should not be static. It should not move with the times, or it should be able to move with new revelation and new interpretation. But the Bible that I read says that his word will last longer than heaven and earth. That heaven and earth shall pass. But one jot or one tittle will not pass from his word. So what we can see, therefore, is that there is a distinction between the religions of men, which they believe shouldn't be static, shouldn't be um, pegged down in a rock, shouldn't be firm and unmovable compared to a word which is a rock that you are to stand upon. What Yeshua says is if you stand upon his word, which is a rock, when the storm comes and the wind and the rain come beating against that house, the house will remain. We are to appreciate and we are to understand that there is offences coming. There is waves of persecution, waves of offence. But that's not what we are to be worried about. That's not what we are to be concerned about. What we are to be concerned about is when the husbandman sends out the reapers, sends out the angels to gather the harvest, there will be wheat which is put into the barn and there will be tares which are uprooted and put into the fire. That's what we're to be concerned about. And we have to put our, if, if, for lack of a better term, ensure, have an assurance of our salvation. The assurance of our salvation is have we been discipled in accordance to what Yeshua told his disciples to the disciple the nations in? If that hasn't taken place, then we may find ourselves the individual who, when persecution and offences come, we wither. We may find ourselves that there's weeds around us which are the cares of the world the deceitfulness of riches, which may cause us to be choked and not be fruitful. This is why discipleship is important.